Good afternoon, everybody. It's Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the early evening. Uh, I did a... Uh, Christy Charles had me on her TV program, and we did uh, 27 minutes of live. It'll be out here in the near future. I'll let everybody know. Let me turn on my other digital clock. Whoop, hold on here. Oh, don't do that. Make a lot kind of noise. Anyway, uh, we had fun. It was kind of a shotgun blast. I said a whole bunch of things real fast in all different directions, like a hand grenade going off. But uh, it was fun. I'm a different kind of teacher. Sweet tea. Uh, Arnold Palmer lemon honey and sugar for the sugar buzz. Nice little easy teaching. I'll tell you, <clears throat> 471 and three more numbers are my numbers, and they've been that since the 60s when I raced Farmer John's 57 Chevy stock car. Instead of having two digits on the door, it had three, 471, and I kept and adopted those numbers. Now, 471 backwards in the Hebrew direction is one for one Lord and one God. And then seven, four. And I turn 74 here in a few more days. And uh, I just recorded my first live TV program for the Lord in the next 10 years. I guess there'll be a bunch of them. It's my time from 74 to 84, the next decade. He prepared me 44 years, and Christy just did her 47th TV program, and my numbers are 471, and uh, I'm reading from 1 Timothy 14 through 17, and then 2-4. Let me read 2-4 to you, and then we'll go to the teaching. It's four verses in 1 Timothy. So if you have your Bibles, turn to 1 Timothy. I'm reading 1 Timothy 2.4. Who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge, and that's spiritual knowledge when you're born of the Spirit, come to the knowledge of the truth. What is truth? Remember, Pontius Pilate asked that question of the Lord. In 1 John 5, it says, the Spirit is truth. Spirit word is truth. All right, God's spirit word is truth. Next verse, verse 5, because there's two H's, the fifth letter of the Hebrew alphabet in the sacred name of God. There they are, two H's in Hebrew. Okay, Y-H-V-H. Love has a V in it, and so does the sacred name. It's not a Wa, it's a V. V, 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 Okay, uh, First Timothy 2, 5. For there is one God. Did it really say that? You mean there isn't three? Oh, that must be incorrect. Holy Spirit made a mistake. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. And I added this to Christ Jesus. He's Lord. He's head of his body. He's king of kings. And he's the great high priest forever. That's what you get when you read Hebrews. And I'm the spirit teacher, the truth teacher. I can't believe those first five words. Are you sure? Am I reading the Bible right? Let me shake that out. There is one God. That's what it says. All right. The teaching today is 1 Timothy, first chapter, 14 through 17. My numbers, 471. I turned 74. I raced 471 race car. I was in Christie's 47th TV, TV program today. And here we go with one and four of my three numbers. And the grace of the Lord, of our Lord, was exceedingly abundantly with faith. And now it's faith in. It's not faith alone. It's not an invisible bucket of faith. It's faith. Add the word in. In what? In Christ anointing. Paul said, I come to see your anointing and your power with the Holy Spirit of truth. Many denominations out there have no power. Man-centered 
rituals, traditions, done with hands, doctrines, high IQ and intelligence of men, no Holy Spirit power or anointing. That is the difference between the early church that the Holy Spirit started from 40 AD that headquartered in Ephesus in 50 AD and held that anointing power for the next three to 500 years. So we're looking for the Christ anointed church and how it functioned and operated in the Holy Spirit truth word. That's the kind of teacher I am. All right. Back to 114 of 1 Timothy. Let's go to 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And I've got a little saying. I am a member of the chiefest of sinner club, of which Paul states right here, he's the chief of the chiefest of sinner club. And let me read it to you. The last five words of whom I am chief. Let me back up and read 15 again. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Paul saying he was the chief of the chiefest of sinner club. And I'm in that club. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm just a human. But I love the Lord and I love the word. I love to read the word, study the word and teach the word. That's my gift. Verse 16, how are we doing on time? Great, six minutes. we we'll try to make this an eight-minute teaching. This is my first teaching on my new phone. I stuffed my other phone, 16 gigabyte, megabyte, whatever. It was a 16-something, and in 90 days, I stuffed it full, and it disintegrated, corrupted, uh, would shut off after a few minutes of teaching and say, no more storage. It was doing all kinds of wacky stuff. I got rid of it, bought a new phone. Verse 16, how be it, for this cause I obtain mercy. Remember this, and I said this at Christie's program, the precious body of the Lord, the precious human shed blood of the Lord. He was a forerunner. He went into the spiritual holiest of holies in heaven, and he took his human blood in that was shed once for all forever for sin. It took down the sin barrier. And human blood was placed upon the four corners of the mercy seat and sprinkled on the ground before the mercy seat to represent the blood and water spilt at the cross, speared his side and went on the ground. And it released mercy and grace and peace in a new and greater way in the new covenant. Now, today, part two, the second is better with better promises. I'm a now today spirit teacher. Okay, back to verse 16 and out to the end. It's eight minutes. How be it for this cause I obtain mercy and in me first Jesus Christ or the Lord Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern. Paul is an example and a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him, on the Lord Jesus Christ to life everlasting, immortality dwelling in the light. And verse 17, here it comes. Now to the king of kings, king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God in up in 2-4 or 2-5, those five words that confuse me, for there is one God. I can't believe that's in the Bible. Yes, I can. I'm the one God teacher. All right, back down to 17 and we end. Now to the God, etern King Eternal, Immortal, Invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen, Selah. And let me end it with this, nine minutes and 11 seconds. It started in glory. It's going to end in glory. glory. Glorious and glorified eternal. I love you. B period, Eugene Bear, spirit teacher, truth teacher. And there's so few left that love truth. Bye.